What's up, people? This is me, Big K Solo, man. Listen up, man. I'm coming out with another video today, man, because, you know what I'm saying, I just, I just did a, I just did two videos. Uh, one video, I was coming at Latin Pain, and um, me and Latin Pain just finished speaking. You know what I'm saying? We just finished speaking. And let me tell you something right now, everything is cool, man, because, you know what I'm saying, the best thing is when two men speak. Forget about that he's king, forget about that I'm king. The best thing is when two men speak and understand each other and listen to each other first. Because you got to listen before you want to say something to that other person. So one of you got to talk. You got to communicate. So we did that. He apologized and I apologized right back to him. You understand what I'm saying? Because what I should have done is what I should have called him. But I didn't call him because he came at me on the, on, on the thing. And, and it's understandable because I came at him yesterday. Now, everything is gravy right now. Everything is gravy. And hopefully, everything's, you know, saying continue the way it used to be. Now, I'm sorry for what happened. You know what I'm saying? To the show uh, between Charlie Rock and Lamp Payne. My apologies. I did not know that happened. That's why I put pain in my show. But that's irrelevant right now. I would talk to Charlie Rock, man. And Charlie Rock is a good brother. Uh, ever since this come out, we've been talking. It's beautiful, B. You know what I'm saying? He's a beautiful brother. He's funny. Uh, yo, I, I usually don't like people like that, man. You know, it, it got to take you a little while for me to like you. Me and Charlie Rock, bro, I don't know about Charlie Rock, but me, right there in the spot, right there in the spot, I like that brother. You understand? That brother's real, that's, and that's what I like about it, because it reminds me of me, real brothers that we don't have no tongue in our hair. So now, this video, what I'm about to say is this. On my birthday, we did a video, and I forgot who was it that questioned Char Charlie Rock, if Big Punt. If Big Punk was a Latin king. And let me tell you something. I've been a king since 1989. Crowned by King Peppa. And motherfucking um, 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 uh, New Orleans Correctional Facility. Orleans, not New Orleans. Orleans Correctional Facility. Right, in, right across the street from Arbion, The woman's prison. 1989. Now let me tell you something. If you add it up right now from 1989... 2000 and what? 23? What's that? 30 something years? Okay. Now, let me tell you something. When in my days, when I started hearing about punt, and this the first time I heard a big punt song was in 1997. I was in, I was in Rikers Island that time, getting ready to go upstate state to do a four and a half. I mean, excuse me, to do, to do a three and a half to seven. Okay, when I first when I first heard Big Punt's first song, first song. All right. And when I started knowing about Big Pun a little bit more, and I learned about him a lot more when I went upstate, that he was down with Fat Joe and them. All right, you guys know the record, the, the history that I got with Fat Joe and stuff like that. It ain't no history. It's just the video that I said about Fat Joe that is facts. Anyway, we're not talking about that right now. What we're talking about is a video that this dude, Chulo, and I understand this, man, because a couple of days ago, man, he did a video, man, talking about that, um, he, you know, he's recovering from, 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 from whatever it is, alcohol, whatever the fuck it is, I don't care, that he's recovering. And I, and I, and I came up and I said, yo, man, keep doing your job, my brother, keep doing a good job because everybody recovered. I recovered. And I even said that I take Xanax because I have a bad problem with anxiety attacks, panic attacks. Um, bi I'm bipolar, I'm schizophrenic. I tell everybody the truth because it's the truth. I don't got no hair in my tongue. And that's why I want everybody to know about K-Solo, King Solo, Chris, whatever you guys know me as. I'm the only motherfucker that ever put my address on and told people my address, where I live at. Because you know why? I'm not afraid and I don't think I do anything to hurt anybody for them to come try to get me. And if they do, make sure you come correct. But now back to Chulo. When I did, when when we spoke on my show on my birthday, 
that, that I forgot who was it. I don't know if it was Payne. I don't know who was it. That uh, Daddy Yankee. I don't know who was it. I don't think it was me. That asked um, Charlie Rock if, if, if Big Pun was a pain. Charlie Rock said yes. And let me tell you something. That's a king. I heard about Big Pun becoming a, was, that he was a king. And if he wasn't a king, he was goddamn close to becoming a king. And for Trula to come out and talk about he's 100% blah, 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 that Big Punk was not a king, Bobby, how can I believe you? You said that Big Punk, Fat Joe, Remy Martin, um, Cuban, um, um, Tony Sunshine, um, Cuban Link, that they went to Rikers Island and did a show. First of all, I would like to know what building was that? Because I was there. I was there in 97. And second of all, second of all, Remy Martin didn't get down with Terror Squad. When they got down, when they got down, they got down, I think it was in 1999. 1999. Because um, um, Remy Martin's first song that came out, it was with Jay-Z, if you guys remember. So I don't know how the fuck she was down with Terror Squad. I don't know how she was there in the prison. First of all, for a girl to be in C95, C73, HDM, whatever the fuck, in Rikers Island, they got to be well protected. And usually that don't happen. To say that you was going around, because you said you. You said you, my brother. I got recordings, bro. You said you. You didn't say other dudes were trying to get him. You said you. And the bros. And then you're going to come out and say that the, that, that Big Pun was never king. And I know you was, you was throwing that to me, Land Payne, uh, um, um, the guest of the show. And, and let's leave him out. Let's leave him out of there. Let's leave, let's, let's, let's leave, let's leave Charlie out of that. I found that disrespectful, and I saw that video today, bro. And let me tell you something, Chulo, man. There have been dudes, I don't know if it's you, I don't know who, who it is, that have been coming out on my comments. If you don't believe me, read my comments, bro. Talking about, yo, Cuba, Cuba said this, this, that. Cuba's blah, blah, blah. You know, like, they want to start shit with me and you. So if they doing that shit to you, if somebody's writing to your show, to your comments, saying that it's me, Bro, learn a little bit, bro. Get a little cabeza, bro, and listen and look and call me. Because my, num my number is all around the fucking show, B. All right? There's not a one show on my show that you don't see my number. Call me. Get it from the horse's mouth, my brother. Fucking shame of you. Shame of you, bro. Period. This is me, K-Solo, LK. K-Solo, Latin King Solo, all right? King fucking Solo. See you later, man. Shit. Nigga, ask about me, nigga. I've been all over upstate. Me, Paolo, Supra. Nigga, I name you names that you never heard of, bro. Fuck wrong with you.